Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Danganronpa. This is episode 32. In last episode we finished off all of the investigation of Sakura's murder, or the ogre's <laughs> murder. And today we're going to make a start on the actual trial itself. So let's check out the e-handbook a sec, see what we got for the truth bullets. One comma file 4, she was hit by the back of the head and there's something to do with blood around her mouth and it. Yeah, vomiting blood. Back room door, it was jammed by a seat. A locked room scenario, yeah. Sats of Sakura's body, the uh, uh, trace of blood were found around her mouth. No injury in the indi indication as to why she would have bought from the blood. So, same as Monocoma file number four, really, I suppose. Magazine shelf blood stain, who knows? Poker dot cot candy wrapper, only Hina and Sakura would have had any, but Hero was a bit suspicious in that section as well. Glass shards, shards on the floor, sort of like the bottles with the chest pieces in them. Figure on the floor, chest piece. <laughs> Monocoma bottles, exactly. Empty protein drink on top of glass that was smashed in there. Locker handprints. Ayo's account, which was. Toko by Okura and, and Hiro asked them to meet in a rec room by noon. She slid these notes underneath each person's room door. By Okura's account, uh, he didn't go because he was in stupid as shit. Toko's account, she was scared shitless, so she didn't go. Pocket trash, Hiro was suspicious by having some of the candy that he shouldn't have had, or sweet wrappers. Yellow powder on her foot, where we saw yellow powder in the chemical room, lab. Toko's examination summary. Two head blows to the head, not one, no blood was found on either of her hands. Okay. The bottle experiment to say that the glass shards were heavier than a bottle. Magazine diary message with Toko in it. Poor cow. <laughs> Chem lab shelf. Um, yeah, there was a poisoning with all of the uh, protein drinks and all that stuff. Source of the powder, a poison on the floor. And footprints in the powder. So there we go, that's what we got. Also, we're going to have a look at the skills, because we did unlock one with Hina. And I wouldn't mind checking it on, since we've got tons of SP. Vocab. What's it do? Increased bullet capacity. Effective during the bullet time battle. Right, so during the music rhythm game. Did I actually set? Yeah, okay. And let's get going. Oy. <laughs> I love these trials, and this one's no exception. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now then, where to begin? We already know who did it. Whoa! Deja vu! The one who killed Sakura is one of the people that hated her. Hyakuya, Toko, or Hiro. It was one of you. <laughs> Idiot. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah! I'd never kill someone, no way! I don't want to hear your stupid excuses! Hina seems really sure that one of those three is the killer. Could be Genocide Jack as well. <laughs> you know. But you must have some reason for believing that. It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? No, it's wrong! Another reason you suspect them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? Yeah, and that was right before she died. So there's no doubt about it. One of those three killed her. I can't disagree with Hina. There's good reason to suspect all three of them. Then does that mean one of them did it? Sakura wanted to meet with all three of them? There's no way that's not suspicious! One of you is absolutely guilty! I don't deny that she wanted to meet with us, but I never went to see her. I didn't either. Yeah, same here! I never saw her! No, it's wrong! Hero. 
When we were talking before, you dropped a small piece of paper, remember? It was white with red polka dots. What's that got to do with anything? Red polka dots? That's gotta be the wrapper from the candy I gave Sakura. No, it's... it's... um... Ever since we got into the warehouse, I totally monopolized that entire box of candy. So there's no way a single one of them was left in the warehouse. In that case, Hiro, where did you get that piece of candy? From Sakura! It's the only explanation! Uh, um, well, I mean, yeah, sure I got it from her, but, but she gave it to me forever ago! It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to her! When? When did she give it to you? The last time you saw Sakura was... when Hina had to go to the nurse's office, right? Yeah, so I must have got it some time before then! But what Hiro said can't be right because Sakura could only have gotten the candy after the incident in the nurse's office. And the reason I know that is... It's because... When Sakura got that candy... I got it! I'm not sure about that, Hiro. Hina didn't actually give Sakura the candy until after she left the nurse's office. So if that was the last time you saw her, there's no reason you should have had that candy. Damn it! Uh, I mean... What I meant was... Uh... Oh, that's right! I did meet up with her in the rec room! You got a problem with that? Why the sudden hostility? But we just talked! That's all! I didn't do anything! You gotta believe me! You're acting incredibly suspicious. You're acting incredibly suspicious! It's not just normal hostility! You're the real culprit! I even have proof! Huh? Huh? Proof? What are you talking about? I'm talking about her shining message! What would the shining message even be? At the scene of the crime, she had written out Toko in her own blood, right? It was her dying message. Just like what you guys were talking about with Sayaka. That's true. I saw it for myself. See? See? Toko did it. What are you saying? No way. I didn't do it. You just don't know when you're beat, do you? Hero, hold on. When did you see that dying message of hers? Huh? Well, when we found Ogre's body. Duh. But if you recall, Hina was very adamant about keeping you away from the scene of the crime. So it's hard to believe that's when you actually saw the message for yourself. Hold on. When Kyoko found the magazine with the day message in it, it was... It was on the magazine shelf because she put it back exactly the same as she found it, right? I got it! Kyoko. You found the magazine on the magazine shelf, right? That's right. Looking through the shelf, I found the magazine with the dying message on it. I found it right there at the scene of the crime, after we started the investigation. If that's true, then what Hiro just said doesn't really make sense, does it? Doesn't make sense? What doesn't make sense? Everything I said makes perfect sense! There's definitely something strange about it. Kyoko found the dying message during the investigation, in which case... That clearly contradicts what Hero told us. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense! I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the- It was only after I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine when I pulled it out. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense! I can tell you exactly when I found the dump when Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you it was only after the investigation I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw- What's your problem? What I said makes total sense! I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. No, that's wrong.
when Sakura's body was found, that magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. That's where Kyoko found it. After we'd begun the investigation. And you weren't at the murder scene. So there's no way you could have seen it then. <laughs> Tell us the truth, hero. When did you see the message? Uh, hold on! You're focusing on the wrong part! Why does it matter when I saw it? All you gotta do is read the Vienna Sausage Ogre left us, and we know who the killer is! Toko! I don't even know where to begin with that one. He's just trying to confuse us. Actually, can we even be sure Sakura wrote that message in the first place? Um, yeah? I think we can all agree Ogre wrote that message. 100%! Without a doubt, she wrote it! And this is me talking, so you know it's true! Without a doubt? No, I absolutely do doubt it. There's no way Sakura wrote that message. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Give it a rest. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap! The end is nigh! Show me the proof! I'm at least 30% right! The occult is bullcrap! Give it a rest! Show me the proof! This should prove it! I'm completely unconvinced that Sakura wrote that dying message. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger. But both of her hands were completely free of blood. So what? Then, who did write it? Hiro could very well have written it himself. That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Ah! He admits it! I figured as much. But why would you write something like that? B because... Because I killed her! You admit into killing her? Please, just let me explain what happened. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room right before noon, just like it said. You just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. And when I got there... Sorry, but you mind waiting? I asked a couple of other people to meet as well. Okay. Would you like a piece of candy? It might help give you some energy. Oh, sure. Thanks. And that's all she said. After that, we just stood around in awkward silence. Suddenly, I heard her mutter something. This is it. I'm going to end it today. I'm going to end everything. As soon as I heard that, I just knew. I knew she was going to try and kill me. She was going to kill me and make her escape. So of course I freaked out, and then... I saw my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head. I... I hit her from behind, before she had any idea what was happening. Then she just... went limp. I didn't see her move again after that. Once it was over, I pulled myself together. I realized if I didn't do something, I'd be caught. And executed. So I wrote Toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and... I can't believe you! You're the worst! I hope you die! Well, that's what happened. Go ahead. Roast me, boil me, do whatever you want. You're not gonna get off that easy. It's death. Death for the one that killed Sakura. We're ready to vote now, right? We know who did it. No. I think there's more to Hiro's story. What are you talking about? What else could there be? There's one thing that Hiro's story just now doesn't explain. And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. So what is it that Hiro did that doesn't make sense? What he would have had to do after writing the message, it doesn't make sense. It was... Um... Why the magazine was hidden. I got it! That's true. Everything you just said. It doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden, does it? <gasps> By the time the body was discovered, the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf. 
Why would you take the time to write that message? Then stick it somewhere we might not find it. Oh. Well, uh, I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. Really? He's lying! He's gotta be lying! I don't see any reason he would lie now, after already confessing to the crime. Then, he's not lying? Assuming he's telling the truth, someone else must have put the magazine back on the shelf. In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. I don't think there's any question about that. But then, who was it? If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine, they must not have liked what was written on it. Someone who wouldn't have liked what had been written, there's only one choice. It would be Toko, right? I got it! It had to be Toko, right? Look! Who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? Did he write, Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? Why would I have... Wait! But more important, that doesn't even matter! We already know who did it, right? Hero just admitted it! That's right. I killed her. No, you didn't. Who last you? I don't doubt Hero attacked Sakura with the body. But that's not where this case ends. What do you mean? What he means is that Hero isn't the killer. You can't be serious. That's just... I don't believe it. Hero, tell us what happened one more time. If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, so what do you want me to do? Just tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but okay. We haven't reached the end of the case just yet. Hero isn't the real killer. And I have to prove that. I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. And I hit over from behind before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once. Is that right? Yeah, just once. No, it's wrong! If Sakura died from Hiro's single blow, that doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. <gasps> two? That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. Personally, I'm inclined to believe her. But I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. Hold on. How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? She was attacked twice with two Monokuma bottles? It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles themselves. There's something very suspicious about those bottles. Once you understand that point, you'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must have been used. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf, right? And we found pieces of a bottle on the ground, along with the chest piece it had inside. That was the bottle Hiro hit Sakura with, right? For now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. But how can you know for sure there were six bottles? That's easy. If you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should become clear. Correlation between the Monokuma bottles. I feel like it's starting to become clear. A connection must be. It's the object that the Monokuma figure inside each bottle is holding. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty easy one. You can see they're all chess pieces in the Monokuma hands. So that's what we're going for. Where's the C? Come on, C. Come on, C. <laughs> e. Oop. S. Oh. Ah, Misty nearly had it. Come on, E. 
Dann. Now I understand. That's it. The chest pieces. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chess piece. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was the knife, if I remember. So, what's that new matter? I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. And on the ground was the knight. Oh, so the queen is missing. So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does Chaz have to do with anything? Yeah, Shogi is way better. Yeah. Wait, no, that's not what I mean. So, let's say a bottle did go missing. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. No. It's clear that the missing bottle is connected to this case. How is it clear? Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. Wait, then the bottle that was missing? It was broken. I got it! The bottle must have been broken. What makes you so sure? Because there was evidence at the scene that supports it. Huh? That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. And what is this evidence? There isn't just a single broken bottle, and the evidence that proves that is. Remember we did a little experiment, yeah, with Kyoko? With the weighing scales? It was heavier because... There were two pieces. I got it! Earlier, Kyoko and I did a little experiment. We compared the weight of the broken bottle pieces at the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. And what we found was that the collection of pieces was heavier. And the reason for that is... There was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. So from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime, but someone did their best to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles, along with the figure inside. But when they did, they must have left behind a few too many pieces, which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. But why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? Because of what it would reveal about the case. There we no doubt that the second missing Monokuma bottle is involved in this case. It must have been used by... Uh... The second attacker, obviously. I got it! The bottle that was removed from the scene was used the second time Sakura was attacked. The second wound on Sakura's head came from that second bottle. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? And there's the matter of the magazine. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Wait! I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but, but there's no evidence I had anything to do with it. No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! Shut up! Until two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her! I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy I am. Plus, I just remembered something that proves it! Okay, fine. Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stick it out or whatever. So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room! You did? Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room! I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. 
Toko had disappeared. And you just now decided to share that with us? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it. Could someone tighten the screws on his brain? I think they've come with us. So, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. I'm sure she didn't disappear. But maybe she found somewhere to hide. What? Hiding me in the rec room? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but... Vermin. No, it's not ridiculous at all. I need proof that shows Taco Toko <laughs> was hiding in the rec room. And I have it. She left it there for anyone to find. A new element's been added to bullet time battles. Well, gonna... So far, you've probably been pressing triangle during your final strike without a second thought. But from now on, you're gonna have to pay a little extra attention to your finishing blow. Now you'll have to choose the proper truth bullet to use during your Coupe de Grace. At the very end. <laughs> you'll select it the same way as during the non-stop debate simply by pressing L1. Like the debate, if your logic difficulty is set to kind, you have fewer bullets to choose from. Educational purposes, we're gonna pretend you're set to mean regardless just this once, okay? By the way, you're about halfway through the game now. Go you! <laughs> well then, good luck and have fun. It's a new I admit you nothing. I hate you. I curse you. No, no, no! No! I admit you nothing. I curse you. Someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the walker. He must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Does his handprint look familiar, Toko? No, it doesn't. Okay then, let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up, right? Yeah! Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Okay, it's my handprint. Dang, she just straight up admitted it. Then you killed Sakura. No, I swear, there's no way. Out with it. I probably did kill her. Straight up again? Wait, what do you mean probably? Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Talk, now. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early. So I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't go. But I was too scared to face her head on. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. And then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yeah, and I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Well, that's awkward. So after he left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a, like a monster growling. And when I turned around, there was Sakura covered in blood and staring right at me. When I saw all that blood, I fainted right there in front of the magazines. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Who? Huh? You mean... Ha <laughs> Get it back! It was your fault after all! My fault! Master's fault! When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights! Just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. So I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. What did a prince pay me a visit? I wonder. So I opened my eyes to see... Splatter everywhere! I was not prepared for that. And, well, I guess it took me by surprise. 
I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find! Which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... You're terrible! No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. Don't drag me into it. But I just can't catch a break, you know? Fate's got it out for me. Cause normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on! That's... you know... But anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre! So that's good! So that's good. Keep talking like that and Hina's gonna... Well then, that's that. Let's start the boat! Huh? I thought for sure you'd have some words for Hero on that one. What's wrong? Come on everyone, we're ready to vote, right? Let's do this! No. Not quite yet. Huh? Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's. But that still wasn't the end of it. It wasn't? Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. You wish it my command, darling! It's not over yet, is it? The one who calls Sakura is... I was just sleeping peacefully! And all of a sudden, Sakura was right there in front of me! I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shelf! You were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with a Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? <laughs> right where I woke up! I killed her there in front of the shell! No, it's wrong! We found Sakura sitting upright in a chair. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. <laughs> oh, is there? <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut things off there. We'll carry on with this next time. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we carry on with the murder case and see which one of these three actually killed Sakura. If it was one of the three. There's strange things going on, yeah. <laughs> That's good for watching, folks. See you again in a bit.